Chrome OS 104 is just around the corner and with it are coming some pretty cool changes to the UI with some additional features and they're things that we've seen before. They are things that have been behind flags and things that have been in the works for months at this point but it looks like with 104 they're all coming out of the woodwork. They're all going to show up all at once and we want to show three of our favorite things that look to be on the way for Chrome OS 104. But before we get into those, this video is sponsored by Logitech, who we've partnered with for our biggest giveaway yet. We are giving one lucky educator or school faculty 30 Logitech Chrome packs to outfit an entire classroom with the best tools to enhance students' Chromebook experiences. We know that the ever-changing and evolving tech landscape can be overwhelming for educators these days, but Logitech has your back. These Chrome packs include the ideal set of solutions to attach to your students' Chromebooks to help drive their success all in an awesome kid approved backpack. This giveaway is open to all currently employed K through 12 school or district level faculty, IT staff and leadership and ends July 31st. So if you're eligible, make sure to check the link in the description so you can get entered to win. And again, a big shout out to Logitech for making this giveaway possible. So again, the cool thing about these new features is the fact that there are no flags, no extra settings, nothing has to be turned on, it looks like, at least. Right now we're in beta 104, so a lot of times what we see in beta rolls down to the stable channel with the next update. But a lot of times the things that we have in beta to mess with are things behind flags, or it feels like they're kind of experimental, or they're still kind of being worked on. These features feel fully baked and ready to roll. And I'm gonna start with the productivity launcher here. And so it, when we click over here, we see we've talked about this ad nauseum, honestly. We've talked about the productivity launcher and the things that it can do and, and how it just looks better on desktop and all that kind of stuff. But I know at least for me, and I don't know if it's been an account level rollout or how they've decided on rolling that out, in stable right now, I still don't have the productivity launcher on all my devices. Some do and some don't. It's super weird. I'm not really sure, but it seems like I've installed, I've put Chrome OS and beta on multiple devices using multiple accounts. All of them are going to this new launcher. And again, I want to remind you, the cool thing about this launcher is the fact, A, that it's tucked away on one side, which looks really great. Uh, but then you can right click and you can sort by name. You can sort by app color, which is kind of weird, but you can undo those changes. And when you search your results up here, so if I'm searching for, we'll say Google chat, um, you've got all your best matches and all that kind of stuff up here. Uh, it just looks nice. It's it's well done. This has been in the works again for a long time and gone through all kinds of iterations, but this feels like a finalized product. It just works uh, and it stays out of the way. It looks great. Love this change and it looks like with 104, it's finally gonna be productivity launcher on the desktop all the time for everybody. Second up on the other side of your uh, tray down here at the bottom, you'll see at the bottom right, we finally have the split date and time sections. Again, this has been around, we've talked about it before. Uh, it's been around in dev channel and all that kind of stuff, but it looks like it's finally rolling out. No flags were needed here. And all this does is split your date over here on the left to your calendar and then on the right side to your settings and kind of like quick settings and stuff like that. It's very handy because before you had to click just on the on the clock just properly to get the calendar to come up and sometimes the calendar wouldn't even show up and it never really worked quite well. Uh, this works very simply and inside the calendar they've really cleaned this part up too. Um, I can scroll through all my dates obviously I can click back to today and jump over here and see some nice animations. When I click on a day you see this nice animation as things pop up into screen. If I click on that it's going to open up Google Calendar to see that. Um, but it's just a nice, uh, useful version of the calendar. You see a little dot underneath these um, and where there are different, uh, different things here that I can look at. Click into the calendar, click this, that just slides away and gets out of the way click back and we're back into the uh, quick settings panel there. Additionally, one of the changes you'll see is up here at the top, the, the notifications just look better. I mean, um, this looks like it belongs here. And, and for a long time, notifications have looked a little out of place uh, on Chromebooks, especially once they move them to the right over top of your quick settings. I've, I've just not liked the way they look. They always looked a little bit janky. This is this new nice uh, notification section that looks like it belongs, it looks like it fits. And as I click around through like Tote, for instance, you see what the pen files look like. When I look at, I'm not gonna do dictation, I'm sorry. Uh, when, you, when I click on input methods here, when I click on uh, phone hub, all of those have a certain look to them and the notifications never match that, but now they do. So when I click into here, you see these notifications here. I can you know uh, expand and contract those. And uh, you know they've even made the notification 
that pop up that comes in as Joe's going to send me a quick text here. Uh, look really cool as it kind of just slides into view on the screen here. So that's a really nice look. That's a nice touch. This just looks like it belongs. It looks like it's part of the OS instead of being this like bolted on weird looking notification section. Finally, the third feature or third thing is again, stuff that we've talked about before, but it's all like in one place and it looks so sweet. If you can't tell, everything's in a light mode right now. So if I go to my quick settings here and expand this up, you'll see uh, dark theme is set till sunset. Well, that's nice. I mean, I can I can turn dark mode back on and it looks like Chrome OS has looked for quite a few years now uh, and go back to light mode. But if I wanna get it to where it switches when it turns dark, which I kinda like, I like that on my phone a lot. If we go to this set wallpaper and style here, you see this whole new, personalization hub. Again, that's been in the works for a while. We've seen it show up in dev channel on Canary and we've seen commits about it and all this kind of stuff. But now here it is just kind of all laid out here for your use as soon as you log into the Chromebook. And from what we've seen, it looks like they might even roll some of this stuff into your setup process. So as you're logging into your Chromebook, you'll get to do some of this stuff as you're setting up. We don't know if that's going to show up in 104 or not, but Right here you can see light, dark, and auto mode. I'm gonna turn it back to auto because I like the light theme, but just like with my phone, at night, if, if I'm sitting on the couch or something and it's a dimly lit room, that dark theme is a little bit nicer. It's a little bit easier on the eyes with less contrast. I'm gonna go into the wallpaper picker here and show you one of my favorite new things that they've added in here. This looks the same way as it has, but you notice right there, Google Photos is included this time around. So if I click into here, probably see some weird things because this is our Chrome Unboxed account. You have a bunch of pictures of desks and Chromebooks and stuff. Uh, but you see all of these lined out. Uh, we don't have any albums, so there's no album picker up here. Uh, if there were an album created, uh, there would be an album tab up there at the top. So I could create, for instance, a wallpaper album. And as I just find pictures either of my family or of golf courses or of tech or of buildings or whatever, whatever it is I like for my wallpaper, I can throw those into that album as I go. And then when it's time to pull those up, instead of doing what I do now, which is go to the file picker and go to this folder I've created and right click and set as wallpaper and hope that it remembers it on the next Chromebook, they're all here in Google Photos now. So I can leverage Google's great photos product for my wallpapers really simply from here on out. All right, so backing out of that section, we can look now at the screensaver portion here. And so, um, you know, this the screensaver has been around on and off through different versions. It seems like finally they've settled on how they want it to look and function, and here it is. Uh, basically, you have the option of a slideshow, feel the breeze, or float on by. So feel the breeze is like a, a close, close pin kind of um, thing with like Polaroids basically popped up there and they'll kind of go by every once in a while. And then float on by has this uh, montage of, of photos that just kind of slide by and there's little material you bits and pieces that are in front and behind and so it's a very googly looking version of you know just uh, small photos flying by or you can do just the good old slideshow all of them are going to show the weather and you know basic stuff the weather and time on the screen so it, it has a bit of a you know google home vibe to it or a, a nest hub kind of vibe to it it's it's not that there's not a whole lot of functionality there but it's something nice to look at if you have a screen that just stays on all the time so some people close their chromebook that's fine but you may have a chrome base or you may have a, a station that you set at where you know when you walk away you lock your screen and but you don't close everything down so it's it's just a nice thing to be on your desk it's it's nice looking and it, it's it's better for your screen than having this stagnant thing on there if for some reason you're not going to have your screen turned off you also have the option here of choosing google photos you can go in uh, and then choose your uh, album if you created it there's the recent highlights thing that google photos does automatically uh, but you can choose those if you would like so obviously you know, like with the clothesline and the the, the little portraits, it'd be nice to have pictures like of your kids or your family in there versus like random art you know, from around the world. So uh, it, it's a nice uh, selection of, of options you get here. Uh, but once you've chosen those things, you've got your screensaver set up, you've got your wallpaper set up, you've got your light and dark modes all here so far. My guess is they're probably going to add more customization stuff to this section eventually. Uh, but this is really well done and a nice just like 
personalized addition uh, to Chrome OS. So those are the top three things that we think are coming in Chrome OS 104. Now, we can't say with 100% certainty that, that these three big kind of updates will show up for everybody across the board, but it feels pretty certain that they're going to. I mean, all of this stuff is finally not behind a flag anymore. It's not behind any special settings. It just kind of works out of the box in beta right now. So it's a good chance that we're going to see those things roll out with the stable version of 104. And that's exciting because these are really cool updates. They make the OS feel more cohesive. They look great. They perform great. And they're just some really cool features that we're excited to see show up for basically all Chrome OS users here in the next couple weeks. But that is it for this one. If you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up head down hit that subscribe button be sure and hit the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one till next time we'll see you